Hi guys, I'm Andy McDermott. Our club team, like many of your teams, probably take the summer off. So we, I brought a few of my helpers out here to show my players the homework that I want them to do this summer. Five minutes a day, you just need one little square of space. You can use cones or sneakers or whatever you want to do. Make 10 steps by 10 steps, and a square could be your backyard, basement, living room, whatever you want to do. You just need one ball. This is going to be four different skills they're just going to do with the ball with a little bit of squats and push-ups in between. Take five minutes, do this every day, you'll be better when you come back for your fall season. Okay guys, so the first one, we do each of these for 30 seconds. For this demonstration, I won't make them do the full 30 seconds. And as you can see, I have different level players out here. Uh, so this is good for all playing levels. If you're more advanced, go a little bit quicker. If you're just a beginner, maybe ratchet it down a little bit, just do the basics, okay? So to start, we're gonna do inside-outside dribbles, guys. Right foot only, back and forth, go. On the jog, lots of little touches, stepping on the ball, turning back. Good, you get lots of little touches. The, the key here, guys, is get as many touches on the ball as we can inside of five minutes. That's how we're gonna get more comfortable with the ball. Good, we'll say that's 30 seconds. Now go to left foot only, inside outside dribbles. Go. Good, and come straight on your touches. Lucy, try to get just the inside outside with the left foot. <laughs> if they don't know which one's their left, you might have to teach them that one first. So, um, okay, we'll say that's 30 seconds. Now you guys stop there. We're gonna do in between each one of these rounds. We'll do two squats. Push-ups. Here we go. Ready? All the way down. All the way down. Good. And we'll do two push-ups. All the way down. And all the way down. Good. Next one, you guys. We're going to do dribbles a little bit quicker, but we're going to turn with the inside of the foot. So it looks like this. Dribble, dribble, and turn with the inside of the foot. Dribble, dribble, turn with the inside of the foot. Okay, go. This will be 30 seconds also. Just inside of the foot, turn at each line. Continuously for 30 seconds. Good, we'll say that's 30 seconds. Stop there. Next one you got is going to be outside of the foot. So you just dribble, dribble, and you turn with the outside of the foot. Dribble, dribble, turn with the outside of the foot. And go. Again, coaches, just try to get your, your or parents, try to get your kids to uh, touch many small touches. We want a lot of little touches on the ball. They stay under control. Only go as fast as you can control the ball. Good, and stop there. We'll say that 30 seconds. Two more spots, two more push-ups. Ready, go. Down, up, down, up. Good, and two more push-ups. Down, <laughs> down, up. Good. Collect your ball. Collect your ball. The next one, you guys, is going to be a touch, touch, step over. Okay? Go. We'll just take two touches. One, two, step over. Good. And then come back the other way. Step over. And good. There you go. Play. So I just, I just teach them touch, touch, because those are the preparatory touches. So you want to get the, the defender with his weight on one leg. Touch, touch, step, and push with the outside of the other foot. Good. We'll save that 30 seconds. Now, you guys, you know this one. Do a touch, touch, and a fake shot. Okay, touch, touch, fake shot. Go ahead. Good. Good, touch, touch, fake shot. Good, that's that one. And stop, that's another minute. So let's do two more squats. Down, up, down, up. Good, and two more push-ups. Down, up, down, up. Good. And the last group, you guys, this is four minutes with squats and push-ups in between. The last one is gonna be um, tap, tap with movement. So tap, tap with movement is just tap, tap, tap. But with movement, you can go forward, you can go backwards, you can go side to side, you can turn. Okay, let's see, guys, 30 seconds, try to tap, tap on the ball. And you can see different levels have different abilities but it's good for even basic beginners to touch the ball a bunch of times. Good job, good job, you guys. And stop there, we'll say that 30 seconds. The last one is the challenge. 
challenge. Maybe you can uh, challenge your kids to be able to do this at the end of the summer. Come back and show coach they've been working on the tap, tap, drag. So tap, tap, drag, tap, tap, whoa, drag. Tap, tap, drag, tap, tap, drag, tap, tap, drag, tap, tap, drag. Okay, try that, guys. Tap, tap. Good, and then put your foot on the ball and drag it back. Good. Tap, tap, drag. Good. Light on your feet. This is really good for coordination, agility, but just getting more comfortable with the ball. And good, we'll see that 30 seconds. Our last two squats. There you have it guys, how to get better at soccer in five minutes a day this summer. You just need a ball and a little bit of space. You can see we're in Hollywood, so we're in a parking lot. That's how limited we are for space, but you can get better anywhere. No excuses this summer. I'm Andy McDermott, thanks.